Hey guys, my name is Max, or Maxine, whichever you prefer to call me. I actually prefer Max. And before I get into the actual tutorial, I just want to say a little bit about me because, you know, it's a new channel and I am relatively new to YouTube because I do have another channel where I post up vlogs, but that was before I got into makeup and now I got into makeup. So I have this new channel and I just want to be able to tell you guys stuff about myself so that you won't feel so distant from me. My name is Max. I'm 18 years old. I am Filipino. I live in the Philippines. And even if I speak English, that does not mean I can't understand Tagalog or speak Tagalog. I speak it fluently. I got into makeup in my fourth year of high school and now I am in my second year. I've just entered my second year of college. So that's the reason why I've, I'm starting this channel because I want to be able to share my makeup looks because there aren't a lot of Filipino beauty gurus out there on YouTube. There are very few of them, and I want to be able to kind of help expand that region. Once again, my name is Max, and this is going to be my everyday makeup tutorial. I'm going to start off with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I actually got this as a Christmas present from my cousins in the States. I just get like a pea-sized amount of that, and then I rub it between my fingers to warm it up. And then... I just apply it to my face. When I apply it, oh god, okay. <coughs> excuse me. I don't just put it on and then leave it to dry. I, I make sure it goes into my skin. Because that can cause wrinkles and my mom never tells me to rub it hard. I'm gonna tie my hair. After that, I go in with my Benefit Professional. It's in the old packaging because um, this was bought, I don't know how, I don't know how long it's been with us. I just kind of found it, turned up in my room, and my sister never used it, so I, I make use of it instead. I rub it between my fingers, and then I kind of rolling, pressing it into the skin, making sure it gets into my pores, because I have very big pores. It's really annoying, you can tell when I put on foundation. If I have excess, I rub it on my forehead, and on my chin. I'm going in with a Wet n Wild Cover All Foundation. It is thick, it's dense. It's thick and it's creamy and it kind of runs a bit. A very little amount goes a long way without making it look cakey or like making it obvious that you're wearing makeup. With my ring finger, I tap, I dot it all over my face like that. And I usually focus on my spots because I have a lot of discoloration from and acne scars. And then with this buffing brush, it looks like real techniques, right? It is not real techniques. I got this in a bazaar for like 400 pesos and it's a really good steal because it works really well despite it being fake. And I don't care if it's fake actually. With me, it doesn't matter if it's fake or not. As long as it works well and you know, it satisfies me, it should be good. So I have no problem telling people it's, it's fake either. So just buff that in in circular motions around my face. Going down, buffing down for parts where there are hairs, a lot of hair, so that they won't stick up and stuff. For the foundation that is left on the back of my hand, I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it under my eyes. Although I will be going back with the with a concealer after. Okay, buff that in. With Benefits Fake Up, I'm going to put this under my eyes for my dark circles and at the corner of my eye too because that place tends to get dark and red. With a little bit on my ring finger, I'm going to put that on the places that were not concealed by the foundation like this spot over here. Just dab that on. I'm not rubbing it in, I'm just dabbing it on. And then with the clean finger, I'm going to use my middle finger. I'm going to just kind of press that into my skin. I'm going to go in with the Clinique Redness Solution Powder. Just tap the bottom of that and then tap the top so that only a little bit will go on the cap. This is an eyeshadow brush from Artist Studio and it's clean because I recently cleaned it and I haven't used it yet. I'm going to get 
from the top of the cap, I'm going to get a little bit of the redness solution powder and go around areas where I usually go red. The yellow powder, because you can see it's a, it's a yellow powder. Yeah. The yellow powder will counteract the red. Because you know in the color wheel, usually opposite of red is green, but green tends to make the redness. It will dye it down, but then it will also make it look a little bit gray and discolored. So closest to green is yellow, and yellow should do the trick. So redness solution powder, I'm going to go in the small parts of my, my faces that usually the big brush won't get. Tap it, pat it down. There. It also helps with under eye circles, yellow. So it's a good all around powder. This is my e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder in Rosy Beige, if you want to know what my color is. With an e.l.f. powder brush, this is the flat one. This works really well, even if it's a drugstore brush. It buffs in the powder very well, so I like using it. And I'm just going to tap it in because I don't want a lot of powder. Tap off the excess and then just buff it all over my face. Same circular motion as when I was applying on my foundation. Put a little bit on my forehead too. Okay, and that's my base done. For the eyes, I'm going to use Max Painterly Paint Pot as my primer. This is, works as my base too because as you can see, my eyes are very dark compared to the rest of my skin. Again, because of lack of sleep. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my ring finger. Just a little bit of that on my ring finger. And then stab it all over the lid. Don't worry if it's messed up like that. Obviously, you're going to blend it out. All the way up to my brow bone and into my inner corner. So that it will brighten up my eye. I know my eye will look white now. But then from afar, it will look good. And it will look evened out. My Naked Do Dupe palette, I got this in a bazaar and it was only for 300 pesos, so obviously it's fake. But who cares? I mean, it works well. It works just the same. Obviously, the pigment isn't exact as the original one and it's not, it doesn't give off as much color and it's not the exact same color, but you know, if it works for me, it works for me. So, I'm going to take Tease, which is a matte, um, taupey brown color, and then I'm going to take that. Take teas on the tip of the blending brush that comes with the palette. And then I am going to tap off the excess. And then I'm going to rub the excess on the back of my wrist so that I won't get too much on my lid. Because it's better to use little and then build up from there than to put on too much and then have to take out your eye makeup if you can't salvage what you've done. So, okay. So I'm going to start at the outer outer corner. Going in with the eyeshadow, I'm going to start here at the corner. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm going to look straight at the mirror. You see this part here? It's not on the brow bone. It's not on the crease. It's the part of the bone that goes into the eye. This part here, that is where you put on the eyeshadow. So I'm going to just back and forth. Sweep it back and forth. As you can see, this is already darker than the rest of my eyes, so I'm going to even that out. You want the darker part to be in the outer corner, and then you just swoop it inwards to kind of blend it with the rest of your eyes. All the way up to the tip of your inner corner, right here. Like that. See the difference? This compared to this. Do the same with the other eye. Now, going in with Booty Call, which is a shimmery champagne color. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eyes, just for a little shimmer. I'm using the eyeshadow brush, and then I'm going to put a little powder on it, tap off the excess, and then put that in the inner corner of my eye. Going up. I don't go down here. I just go inner corner, and then up. And then I pat it down with my finger to bring... The shimmer down a bit. As for the highlight of my brow bone, I'm going to be using Foxy, which is a matte cream color. Foxy, which is a matte cream color. Same brush. And I'm just going to highlight that. 
I'm going to be going in with a Mega Liner by Wet n Wild. This is a liquid liner, and I know liquid liners can be very scary when it's your first time using it. But I'm going to try my best to teach you through video how to use it. This is actually something I've learned from another YouTuber. Her name is Mila. I forgot, but that was her first name, Mila. She's a friend, I think, of Shameless Maya, who I love very much. It's to just make a line as close as you can to your lash line. Just a line. Don't worry about tapering it out. Just make a line. And work in very short strokes. You're just going to make a line pointing up so that it will lift your eyes, okay? You're just going to make a line pointing up. If you don't know what angle you should use, put your brush at the outer corner of your eye and at the tip of your eyebrow, and that should be your natural line. There you go. See that? We are just going to connect this line to the line on top of your lashes. Be very careful. that and then fill in your line okay. after you've done the other eye kind of look back and see if it's the same like this looks a little bit longer than this one so I'm just going to adjust that and do it little by little so you won't end up messing it up I'm going to take an angled brush this is a brush from artist studio and then I'm going to take Blackout from my Naked Do Dupe palette, Blackout, and I'm just going to put that on the tip of my brush and then rub, rub it on the back of my hand to take out excess. Take out excess. And then, whatever is left, I'm just going to pat it onto the eyeliner. It's basically the same concept as foundation. You need a powder to set your foundation to help it last longer. You need a black powder to set your eyeliner to help it last longer. Now we are going to move on to blush. For blush, I'm going to use my MAC Peachy Keen. This is a nice rosy color. It's almost um, red. It has a red undertone to it, as you can see. And what I love about this is it has gold shimmers in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There, you see that? It has gold shimmers in it. If you like this, but you don't, you don't have enough, you know, it's on your budget to get a MAC, a MAC blush, which is totally fine. It's not in my budget either. It's just that my sister gifted this. A good dupe is the Cheeky Glow by Maybelline. As you can see, it's the same color. It's just that the Maybelline one doesn't have gold specks, but you know, you don't really need gold specks. Using my e.l.f. bronzing brush, which is obviously not used for any kind of bronzing, I am go oh crap! I'm going to just swirl my, just tap my brush into the blush, tap off the excess, and then rub a little bit on the back of my wrist, so that I won't get too much on my my face. And then I'm just going to kind of tap that onto my skin. I'm going to angle it upwards, and just. Follow this whole line there. Now, if you think you have too much blush on, I suggest taking a clean blush brush. This is the one from Nishido. This is from the starter set, which I bought myself. And then, it's a clean brush, and then you just buff it in and take away the excess. Lastly, I'm going to move on with the lips. This this is kind of my signature lipstick. Um, this is Plumful from MAC. It's a nice um, mauve purple color. And when it comes to me and lipsticks, I tend to... First of all, when I check out makeup, I always gravitate to the lipsticks. Because lipsticks is like, man, they're my jam, man. They're my jam. And when I do gravitate to the lipsticks, I move towards the warmer colors. I move towards the warmer colors. It's very rare. It's very rare that I use a lighter color or a neon -y color, like let's say this pink from Snow. It's very rare that I use this. I don't know why. I'm 
I actually like a lot of warm, dark colors. For example, Sugar Plum Fairy by Wet n Wild. It's a very dark purple color, and I really love that. This and the Cherry Bomb. But for my everyday look, I use Plum Full by MAC. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this is it's very moisturizing, so you don't really need um, a lip balm for it to go on smoothly. There we go, that's my makeup look, and all that's left to do is let my hair down. Okay guys, this is my everyday makeup look, and I hope you guys liked it. I hope this video isn't too long for you to watch. I hope you were able to learn something, or you like the techniques that I use, which I learned from other beauty gurus, by the way. They're not techniques that I made myself. Every technique that I used in this video, I have learned from other beauty gurus, and this is just a video of me applying those techniques. Anyway, I hope you like my everyday makeup tutorial. I hope you're able to use it. And like, subscribe, share if you want. If you don't, it's, it's fine. It's completely fine. You can comment too if you, if you want. Please just try not to put anything negative down. Or if you are, make it creative criticism and not destructive criticism. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you later. Peace. I don't know what that was. Peace. Ooh. Peace out. That was a really bad outro.